Hello everyone, I'm Vigatech, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband, where last episode we took on a bunch of Sea Raiders and got quite a quite a decent amount of gear. Uh, and I went ahead and upgraded all of my all of my troops. And so we've got a couple new guys to show you. We got Nord trained footmen. We got five of them. So these are I think level three. Uh, Nordic troops and they've sort of you know they've start to get some good armor on them and they're pretty pretty strong which is nice and we got our first cavalry as well our first Swadian man-at-arms this is a level four troop uh, and next is a knight which will be very very nice so he's our first cavalry he can ride around with me I really don't want to lose him I really really don't want to lose him uh, so I'm a little little unsure about what to do I mean with 52 guys, I'm. That's a pretty sizable force. I mean, lords tend to have around 100. Um, let's see if. Let's see what Vegas can do. I think. I think Vegas eventually turn into archers. I think that's what the Vegas are good for. So I might. Might go and claim a few Vegas. Um, but I mean, lords tend to have around the 100 mark of troops. But 53 ain't bad, especially on day, I mean, I'm not very far into the game. Um, some people are already ready to upgrade, which is nice, some some recruits, let's get some more militia going on. Swadians can also turn into arch, uh, crossbowmen, so I can also use them. But I think I, think I want to use standard archers, so I might get a bunch of, what are these guys again, Vegas, I just said it. Might get a bunch of Vegas, then head down and get some Rodok, um, and hopefully one of those two things are going to get me some good archers, because I really can't remember, and it will also hopefully get me a sizable force, and then, then I think it's time to start raiding some people. Now raiding, I mean, we got some sea raiders here, so if I become a raider, these, like, I mean, look at this, we got a, a lord here with only... 25 people in it i mean they are veterans and stuff but there's also some infantry and some footmen a couple archers 12 footmen i could probably take that like genuinely right now i could probably take this guy but i'm not going to not not just yet i think maybe maybe i'll do that maybe i'll start a war with no vegas are archers and the horse archers at that they have that's right i do remember now they are they're very frustrating to fight uh, because they just sort of circle around you uh, and just keep shooting you, so you just get decimated. Um, but I do need to find someone, someone to pick off. So the Vegas and the Kuji Khanate have made peace. That means that war's over with them, whoever they were. Running from Jarl Ulf's party, so they can see something I can't. Which actually reminds me, my character. Is level seven now he's gone up three times so let's distribute some points let's just go ahead and get one in each so we're level 10 across the board which is nice weapon master allows my skills to go up let's go 60 100 140 hmm. so how much can i up this at the moment 119 Okay, so that's already at 140. I don't need to do anything in Weapon Master. Shields, I think I want to put something into. Looting, yes. Trainer, yes. Tracking. Tracking allows you to see tracks on the on the map, and they sort of come in arrows that change size based on how many people and all that kind of stuff, and direction and speed. I don't think I need it right now, but what I do want is spotting. I think spotting could be quite useful. It's going to allow me to see some more people on the map. So let's go ahead and increase my spotting skill. And that's my upgrades done. A little bit of a battle going on here. I could jump into this. Kingdom of Nords versus the Kingdom of Vegas. Ah, don't get... Okay, so you can't get involved until you actually pick a side. A little bit annoying. It'd be kind of cool to just be... You know, chaotic neutral, just go in and jump in in battles and just go, ah, this time I'm fighting for these people. That'd be kind of cool. But it looks like I can't do that. So, 
Where do I want to head down to? Let's head down to Serindia, and then we'll head to Veluka. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a long trip. Whereabouts? Whereabouts am I? This, there we go. There, <laughs> that is one problem. Is I do tend to, you tend to lose track of your own character as you're going along. But let's let's work out who we want to pick a fight against. So, if I'm gonna arm myself with a lot of Guardian Knights and Nord footmen, maybe I want to pick a fight against the Nords. I mean, cavalry work well against footmen. Plus, if we do get into a ground, you know, a, an infantry battle. At least my guys will be even. You know, they'll be evenly matched. Uh, Nords versus Nords. Plus, I'll have knights trying to kill them. So maybe, maybe that's the plan. We will... I mean, how many Nords do I have at the moment? I've got... That's a footman. Yeah, we'll get you to a skirmisher. I think. Uh, move you down a bit. Guardian, you can become militia. So we've got 11 Nords. 5 Nords. So we got 16 Nords at the moment. I'd like a few more, to be honest, before I actually pick a fight. Because once you pick a fight with a with a faction, they're not going to join you as easily. So, because what I was thinking was I head down to the Rodok, get a bunch of Rodok guys, head up through Slidian territory, get a couple more of these guys, and then start picking on some of the villagers. But if I start picking on villagers, oh, I've lost my characters. Oh, I've lost them. There he is. Uh, if if I start picking on villagers, then they're not going to want to join me. Which I don't know if sixteen Nords is really enough right now. So maybe I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to wait. I'll I'll head up here. I'll collect as many Nords as I can. Then I'll pick a fight with the Nords. And we'll go from there. So I'm almost down into Serendia. Um, oh, one more night. Have I got any more people to upgrade? No. No, I don't. How's my food going? Two days old chicken. Day old pork. Day old pork. Still giving me morale. Which is fine. Smoked fish is fine. Bread, bread, grain, honey. That's all fine. But I have only got one or two more days left of that food before it starts to go sour. So we'll have to we'll have to deal with that. That's right. We we are heading down to Veluca. Um, so we can get some food once we're there. Come on. A little bit faster. Gonna head through the forest, which is gonna make us even slower. We're gonna head down to 1.9 speed. Oh. So slow. So, the more cavalry you get, the faster your little band, your army actually, your war band, one might say. Sorry, that was terrible. Um, no one there wants to join me. Ah, that's a shame. Maybe we'll have better luck than Chaser? Chaser? Maybe. But as I was saying, yeah, uh, the more cavalry you have, the more likely, the, the faster you move. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. The more cavalry, the faster you move. So, I do need to get some of them. Marketplace, goods merchant. Do you have anything I need? Not really. Smelling chicken. Let's sell you for... Sell you as well. That's still plenty of food. Let's grab some bread and some grapes. And some fruit. And really... That's all I need to do in Veluca. Let's head on down to Chaser. Chaser? Chaser? Ah, who knows? Who can say? Why does no one... No one w wants to join me? Who... Who are these guys at war with? Um, faction relations. Oh, that's to do with my relations. You seen any outlaws? No, haven't seen any. Okay, so these guys hunt the bad guys. I like them. Man hunters, pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, we are. Here we go. Kingdom of Rodok. 
are at war with Swadia. Well, that would be why they don't want to join me, because my army is bloody full of uh, Swadians. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going to have any luck here. So let's head on up to... Yeragar has been looted. Vienkort Castle, Noma, also looted. Maybe I could start looting some of the, uh, the Rodok. Let's go and raid Pagunda. 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 That place. That, we'll go with that one. It's called that one. Uh, let's go and raid that one. Now, uh, for the hell of it, we got 56 troops. I'm sure this won't go too badly. Hopefully, and we got some upgrades, which is nice. It should just be one guy. Skirmisher. No, footman. He turned into a footman. Uh, hopefully, people don't complain too much if I start raiding villages. Hell, we could even take on the castle. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. But let's go and be a bit of a dick to Pagunda. Oh, sorry, that one. Let's be a dick to this one. Take a hostile action. Force the peasants to give you supplies, steal cattle. Oh, no, I want to. I want to. I want to fight the place. Why can't I do that? Maybe I need to. Can I? 148. No. <laughs> let's not get into a fight with those guys, actually. They seem pretty damn. Huh. Yeah, you're gonna get slaughtered, mate. You are gonna get slaughtered. Swadians. Let's head into Uxkal, see what's going on. We're running away there. And this this war is not going the Swadians' way. Good thing I didn't pick them. Let's actually what well, you guys haven't seen this before, so we can go to the arena and we can fight with wooden swords you can also enter tournaments but they're not here at the moment um so let's oh uh, yes sometimes it gives you arrow like bow and arrow sometimes it gives you a staff like that um but of course we all know my favorite thing is the sword and shield so i'm very glad it gave me that so basically the goal of this is just to knock out as many people as you can. So in the top left, you can see that I've beaten one. There are 35 to go. You earn more money, the more the more people you knock out. Oh. Oh, come on. And of course, there are people of all varying difficulties in here. You've got, you know, veterans. You've got lords sometimes. Sometimes you find lords in here. Um... Mostly they're just regular fighters, veteran fighters, champion fighters occasionally. Sometimes um, you will find the odd champion. Um, hopefully I can... Ooh, ow. I was hoping... To take him. Oh, straight out. He was a veteran as well. Slaughtered him. Oh, there we go. So I've taken out eight guys at the moment, which is worth about, I think, ten dinars. But it's kind of cool to see how well... Boom. Bottom right, look at my shield. It's about to die. So I hope... Is there anyone else around? Yeah, there's a shield over... If I can... Take out this guy. And hopefully... Yeah, equip a shield. Brand new shield. Now i got one on my back. One on my front. Which is very nice. Because it means... So having a shield on your back genuinely protects from arrows. So if someone tries to shoot me in the back and it hits the shield, it will save me. Which is quite nice. This shield is now taking a beating on the front. Oh, okay. Wait, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they always all go for you. It's like there are other people to fight. But I managed to take out 11 guys, which is 25 dinars. Let's see if there are any there be, won't be any tournaments soon. Well, that's a that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping to show you guys a a tournament. Let's see if there's anyone in the tavern. Swordsman, I can hire. Book merchant, Ferentis. So you can 
make friends in this game essentially. Um, uh, let's let's read this guy's story. I was a captain of horse in the service of the Lord here in Uxtal, and my brother served with me. But we were both in love with the same woman, a courtesan, a temptress, who played upon our jealousies. My brother and I quarrelled. I had drunk too much. He slapped me with his glove, and I spit him upon my sword. My own brother, my sword arm was stained with the blood of my kin. Do you believe there is hope for a man like me? Can I find the path of righteousness? Or am I doomed to follow the demons that dwell inside of me? You could join us. Right wrongs, fight oppressors, redeem yourself. That kind of thing. Yes, you must have sent... You must have been sent by divine providence. Lead me. Lead me away from darkness. I'm well practiced in the art of war, but I beg you, sir. I wish to use my skills to defend the innocent, the pure, and the defenseless. Not to become a common brigand and wreak more misery than I've already wrought. Oh, I'm actually out of space in my party. I've, I'm all filled up, which is fine by me because, to be honest, I didn't really want a guy that doesn't want to raid people. Considering my entire plan is become a little bit of a, a bandit, um, so he would not have fit. Let's. Um, you're a Rodok with 26. 5.0, 4. Point... No, come back. I'm not going to have to catch him. Oh, I was really hoping to fight him. Just, you know, for the hell of it. That would be kind of cool. Let's, 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 let's. Hmm. This is looted, so we're not going to get anything at all from there. 56 guys. What can... Maybe... You know what? Let, I know I know. I said I wasn't going to side with someone, but if it means I can start raiding some of this stuff, maybe it's time I join the Swadian. And so, yeah, let's do that. Let's find this count. My name is Beaker Targaryen. It is Count Ferrans. Cut the throats of impudent commoners who barge into my prison, but he's in a good mood. Oh. Yes, this is what we want. As it happens, Beaker Targaryen, I promised King Harlaus that I would hire a company of mercenaries for an upcoming campaign. I, I'll join Kingdom of Swadia. Your enemies are my enemies. So, Swadians now like me by 12. Rodok hate me. Negative 40. Whew. But that does mean... That with my 53 troops, I should now be able to head down this way and take out some bloody Rodok. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I hate the Rodok. Uh, personally, I've got nothing against them. But hopefully now, I'm going to adjust my headphones there. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, we want to upgrade. There we go. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to take these guys out without being completely decimated on my way. Okay. Oh, never mind. Run away. 4.4. 4.4. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get into a fight with this lot. There is. The Urkskal, run away. Go to the castle. Oh, that was... That did not go well. Let's see. Master just calls back. I don't know well. Yeah, I'm going to take your advice. Get in the castle. Urchin. One of these urchin merchants here in Uxcal. I've no intention of paying it back, of course, but that loudmouth fool was making a terrible fuss about it. He even had the audacity to come and threaten me with a letter of complaint to the trade guild and bankers. Why, he'd ruined my good reputation, so I need a man I can trust, someone who will guarantee the man's silence for good. Worry not, he shan't breathe a word. Wait for my word, I'll send you a message telling you when and where you can capture the merchant. Okay, well, let's just... You spot your victim and follow him, observing as he turns a corner into a dark alley. Oh, 
Is this guy? Oh, okay. Right through the chest. I have nothing in you, but count my own quantity dead. Sorry. I said I was going to be a rebel and a bit of a, a brute. So... You be quiet. You be quiet. Oops, Carl, don't like me. Count Barons, however, I really hope does. From zero to four. Yes. Got a bit of a... Uh, can't speak. Got a reward of 600 dinar, uh, dinars. Just course of action. Still doesn't know me. Do you have any other tasks? Currently, it's Suno. Okay. Because... I need people in Uxkarl to like me so that I can tell them to come and like me. Huh. Let's head to Suno and hope I don't get found by the Rodok. That won't be good. Actually, instead of Suno, uh, 4.9, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go. Deserters, fuck them, yeah. So the problem with being a large force like this is you are a little bit slow, so it doesn't mean you can't really fight as many of the bandits as I would have liked. But that's okay. Uh, however, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and also hit subscribe if you wanna see more. And I'll see you in the next one.